Welcome back to Let's Play Canon Standard Edition for the PC. In the last episode, um, we went to school. Exciting! And then we had a curry roll. Even more exciting! No, it's not. Anyway, let's continue. She greets me almost like a young wife answering the door to her husband. How old is Akigo-san, anyway? Don't know. I mean, she'd have to be, like, in her thirties at least or so, wouldn't she? But she, she looks as young as Nayuki, really, doesn't she? Almost. Speaking of which, how old is she? That's what I was thinking! I suspect that will remain an enigma. Come on, game! How old is she? I sink into a book. When I next notice the time, it's ten o'clock. Makoto must be out of the bath by now. I grab a change of clothes and leave my room, hoping to get in second. As expected, Makoto is loitering on the landing in her pajamas. <laughs> she looks rather too pleased with herself, and there's something in her hand. Looks awfully like a lighter. Confiscated! I grab her hand and start working the light out from her tight fingers. What's she got a lighter for? Does she smoke? Makoto ad lighter seems likely to equal an entire city block burned to the ground. Well, what do you want it for then? Are you going to smoke again? I'm not letting go till you tell me. My safety, perhaps? She manages to squirm out of my grip and dances back to a safe distance. See, that's a threat right there. With which she disappears into her own room. So she is going to try another prank. Okay, so she's not going to turn into a pyromaniac. And she must realize that anything short of arson is bound to have worse consequences for her than for me. After my bath, I slump in front of the TV. First Nayuki and then Akigo-san have retired to bed. Foolish of them, this is about the time of night when TV begins to get interesting. In the end, I don't turn the thing off until 2 in the morning. This is a much more civilized hour at which to go to bed, which is what I therefore do. Creak! 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 That noise again! What the hell is that? I can't believe it. She waited all this time for me to go to bed. the hell is that mean anyway? Creak! Oh, the door slowly open the sound effects. There we go. <laughs> that familiar snicker. There's no question of me ignoring her this time. Not if she's got a lighter. I tense myself, ready to leap up at a moment's notice. I sense... Rather than see Makoto approach. Leaving the door half open, I hear her rummaging around for something. She doesn't quite seem to understand the link between stealth and not talking to oneself. An abrasive sound in the darkness, and a shower of sparks. What's she up to? The sound again, and this time a flame shoots up from the lighter in her hand. It gives off enough light for me to make out what she's holding in her other hand. Fireworks? A firecracker, to be precise. A short fuse lighting session is followed by Mikado's hasty withdrawal. Yikes! She just pulled a jackass stunt on you! Who she thinks she is, Bam Margera? Oh, it is on! I leap out of bed into the space previously occupied by the departing Mikado. The fireworks I go up one by one and taking advantage of her, having left my door half open, I hurl them out after her. 
Take that, Japanese girl version of Bam Margera. Oh, is she still out there? Oh, that's too bad. The fun should begin any moment now. I close the door. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Could have at least had the sound effect. A Kodo scream nearly drowns out the explosions. I venture outside as soon as the noise stops and find Makoto hunched up, shaking and tearful. The air is filled with the smell of gunpowder. The lights flicker on. <laughs> I think she's getting pretty tired of her pranks now. She's like, oh fuck. Why? Why do you do this every night? Akiko-san appears with a tired look on her face. It does look kind of tired, doesn't it? It's like, ugh. Please stop waking me up. Yeah, she sounds a little annoyed now, doesn't she? I certainly doubt the neighbors are still asleep. I thought it was spelt with two U's instead of W's, whatever. Makoto looks back at her. Defiantly, but she seems to be having trouble coming up with a convincing excuse. Even Nayuki seems to be awake ish. Oh, I guess she could, like, wake up in a bombing raid, I guess. Possibly. Shouldn't she be saying fireworks were meant for outdoors, not indoors? I think Makoto watches Jackass. It's the only way to explain her pranks. No more is said. Makoto is silenced. She was unable to do anything more than nod as Akiko spoke. Even my aunt's technique is actually working. I think I can see what she's up to now. It's a softly, softly approach. Constant mild rebuffs may civilize Makoto yet. I retire to my bed, clutching at the straw. What straw? Thursday, January 14th. Yep, we got another one of these. A dream. I'm dreaming. Again. My ears are filled with noise. Or what else would it be filled with? Oh yeah, you wax. From far away, from close by. Resounding instantly like running water. Adults walking hurriedly by. Not noticing the small figures sitting on a bench. You can probably tell who this is all about with these dreams if you've seen the anime. But... Yeah. Until we go for that certain character's storyline, we will not be revealing as to what it all means. See you next time. Let's play Canon Standard Edition for the PC.